Good morning folks, Scoot and Fool here. Just going ahead and do a little bit more work on the PCX. I have a 2013 Honda PCX. What I'm going to be doing today is replacing the horn. So I'm going to get a bit of a sound from the horn for you so you get an idea of what the difference is. I'm going to get a decibel reading as well. There's an app I can get for that just to compare. And then I have a new horn coming and I'll give that information in a moment for you. Okay, let's give a listen to the old horn. Now, according to my decibel meter, that reads at about 102 decibels or so. The new horn is supposed to be rated for almost 113, 115, somewhere in there. So we'll see how that comes out once I put it in. It's supposed to sound a little deeper, a little less like, well, a scooter horn. So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that it's an easier install than some of the air horns are. The horn is down in there apparently, so I have to take off this center cover. To get the center cover off, it's actually not that difficult. So I'm going to loosen this screw here, and then you have to kind of pop it up carefully and be careful not to break any clips. Okay, so if you can't really see it very well, um, the horn is right here. So I'm going to be removing that. It looks like I should be able to just use the existing wiring that's on it to put the new horn in. I'm going to find out in a moment or two. So I've got the box. The horn came just a minute or two ago. So let's take a look at the uh, packaging here. Make sure I don't cut off my fingers while I'm trying to open the box. Some things to pop later. Now that's fun. Okay, so this is the horn. It's a Denali. Sound Bomb Mini. It's just a little bit bigger than what I had already in place, but it looks like my connectors will be the right size, and it's just a matter of installing the mounting hardware and such. Now I'm going to use the bracket that's already in place if I can, simply because it's actually um, already attached and it's such a tight place. I don't want to have to take everything apart if I can avoid it. So I like the shape of it. It's kind of like a Nautilus. Let's go put it in and see what see what's what. See if I can make some noise. Okay so I've got the old horn off. The connectors are relatively simple. It is a little bit larger than the old horn. So the connectors will just slide on here. I'm going to jiggle a little bit to get them to slide over smoothly. I'll give you a whole lot of extra length with the uh, stock harness there. Oh, I think I'm going to have plenty of space. Let's see. I'll get it popped down in there and just uh, manipulate around a little bit with these cables and such. Okay, it's in there. It took a lot of doing. I had to take off this inner cover. Um, here, it's actually very easy to take off. Well, not easy per se. You'll, you'll bust your knuckles up a little bit, but <laughs> um, it comes off pretty well. In order to get this cover off, you have to take this guy off first and then take off the cover. To get this cover off here, this guy off, you have to take the seat off. So, um, I'll be putting all that back together in a minute or two. But it's in. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> that sounds better. Okay, so thanks for watching. That's everything at this point. It's uh, working well. Seems louder, seems deeper. I like that. Uh, the decibel meter that I got doesn't seem to read anything above 105, regardless of what I try to read. It might just be my microphone, but I noticed a difference. My wife said, wow, that sounds like a car horn. So kind of what I was going for. The horn that was in this one originally, not very good. So sounds good. Just want to go over the upgrades that I've got so far. I've got the horn. I've got the braided brake line windscreen. That is the short GV windscreen. I've got the Leo Vinci pipe. I've got the blinking plate 
surround. Got the shocks in the rear. You can't see it from out here because it's inside the CVT, but the CVT has been upgraded. And then, of course, you can see it kind of peeking out there, the, the uh, arm of the brake uh, adjuster. Oh, and of course, the mirrors that I got off of a Yamaha V-Star. So, a few upgrades, nothing to the power plant. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, folks. Scootin' Fool out.